Hey guys, Casey here with vantripping.com and uh, I'm in Mountain Bluebird, my adventure van, and I'm going to share with you guys a new tip for your vans. This is a security tip. That means uh, security of your physical self and things. And uh, certainly a lot's been talked about uh, some of the lack of security uh, with the C.R. Lawrence windows. So let me show you what I did all the way back in June of 2019, so over two years ago. So I'm going to share my experiences with this product, uh, which I think can help you all out, make you feel a lot more secure in your van. So here we go. Pull the curtains back, and I, it might be a little difficult to see, but this here is a security screen. There's a 16 gauge powder coated steel with these nice little hexagon cutouts. So you still get a lot of airflow uh, coming through here, but it completely uh, covers up the vent window. You can get one for the driver's side, which is this one here. And you only really need it in the front, um, not the rear one here, because in the front here, somebody could, when this window is on, if it's unlocked and open, um, could reach your hand in, take out the screen, and reach forward to get to the uh, front driver's side door right up here. Um, I actually tested this out. I, uh, before I installed these, I actually went um, out to, uh, uh, outside of my van. I had removed the screen from the inside. I'd open the window up all the way and I could reach my arm all the way in to unlock the front driver's side door. That concerned me. I'm like, wow, you know, there's a lot of times where I leave my windows open, these side C.R. Lawrence vent windows open while I'm parked. Whether camping and I go off hiking or biking or if I'm even just, uh, you know, whatever, wherever I am, right? If I just leave it in, even in, in a, um, where I am somewhere for the day and that way my, my roof fan can go ahead and draw air through these windows. They have screens on them and people can't get in, but they can't get in through the window, but they certainly could get in and lock the door. So that's the one, the driver's side. Here's the one on the, uh, the slider door side, passenger side. And you can see it covers this window very nicely. The each on uh, this, this one also has this very nice solid pattern here. So nobody could even stick some tool in uh, through one of these little hexagon cutouts to, to lift up, uh, you know, the door lock uh, mechanism right there. Um, very nice. So and these are, these are screwed in uh, here and the C.R. Lawrence windows, unfortunately, they, they have pretty much the exact same screws um, behind the screen. So you remove the screen. Um, the peekaboo security cover has its own uh, mosquito net mesh, which is very difficult, of course, to see in there, but you can get an idea. It's a very fine mesh, so it won't let bugs in. Um, and then it's got these screws and you screw it into the, ideally, the same screws that are in the factory uh, C.R. Lawrence uh, screw holes. Unfortunately, C.R. Lawrence does not have these screw holes in exactly the same spot uh, throughout their, um, on their windows. Uh, so it doesn't always line up. Peekaboo makes that clear when you buy it. So you may have to drill new holes for a few of these. Some will line up, some won't. I had to drill a few holes. It's easy to drill into this aluminum uh, or steel frame on the C.R. Lawrence windows and just create some new holes. And these are basically just a self-tapping screw. It just kind of goes right into that. Um, uh, it's not self-tapping, but it's just a little sheet metal screw to go right into that hole that you drill. It's not too hard. You can really install this whole entire thing for each window, even with drilling a few holes you have to drill. Let's just say in about 15 minutes, this bolts right on. Again, it replaces the screen. Now you can still open and close your window, your vent window here as you need to. But now when it's open, somebody can't reach their hand in. It's impossible to reach your hand in and get through. You see that? That's open. There's no way they can push through this. Not without a significant amount of force. Um, the, the, net, the netting's great. Unfortunately, the one problem with, the, with it is that it can get bound up on these screws that you have to drill. So that can be a little bit of a problem. I did have to kind of create a little, put a little tape to tape up the mosquito net um, on the inside here. Uh, so that it still is, is covering this opening and not allowing any bugs to come in. Um, but that was the one really problem I had um, with these. I don't know if they're good. And the only other problem with them, if I'm going to say there's a problem, and they are pretty heavy, they're durable. But if you listen to this, when you close it, it can be a little bit of a clunk. And that's this rattling right here. So it 
they probably should have put a, at least another screw right here in the middle um, or even two and that would have held this on. I probably could put a piece of VHB tape and I think I will on the inside there and that'll both cushion it but also hold it um, onto there. So that's it. That is the Peekaboo. Uh, I think you can go to Peekavan, P-I-K-A-V-A-N.com. I think that's their website. I think um, last time I checked, they're $84 a piece. Uh, they do have them for not just the Mercedes Sprinter, but also the Dodge uh ProMaster, as well as the Ford Transit. So that's fantastic. They have those now. When I bought these literally two years ago, they just were coming out. Uh, I talked to the owner because I don't think any were installed yet. They barely even had any photos and got some information uh, and uh, decided to go and purchase them, give them a try. I'm really happy I've had them. I don't have to worry about somebody breaking in through these open windows. So anyways, that is my um, tip. Um, and uh, uh, while we're talking about windows, let me actually talk about one more thing too. And that is uh, these WeatherTech uh, uh, window, um, <laughs> what are they? What would you call these? Uh, WeatherTech window vent supports. These right here. Um, these are fantastic. I am really stoked with these. I don't remember exactly how much they cost. They're acrylic. I got them in smoked. I think you can get them in other ways. They literally snap into the existing window frames here. The only downside is they do make the, the window just have to get a little bit, um, put the window motor push a little bit harder as it gets all the way to full close. That's really an incredibly minor um, insignificance. Uh, but it does seal up the window better. Uh, you actually get a less wind noise. That's one the benefit of them. The second benefit is you can have the window open um, just um, uh, down an inch or two, so rain can't get in, um, or 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 not as likely to get other things that that, that may come in bugs or or dust. Um, also, somebody can't stick their prying hands. Um, in around the window. It's open just a couple of inches um, to reach in. Uh, and so it definitely provides a lot of benefits. I actually find that I have the windows open just that inch or two almost all the time because it significantly quiets down the wind noise, but yet still allows that ventilation in. Also now I can leave the uh, these front windows open uh, just partially to allow air in um, to get to the attic fan or just allow some ventilation uh, through the, the van, even without the fan running, significantly helps keep the van cooler. Again, also safer and, and it can do that even when it's raining outside. So these are also a really nice addition. Again, you get these at WeatherTech and are the manufacturers of those and they're quite affordable. So there you go. The Peekaboo vents, uh, security uh, window vent covers and the uh, WeatherTech uh, front window uh, acrylic uh, covers. So those are my two tips a day. I think they're both really great for adding additional security and uh, other benefits to your uh, side windows in your van. Uh, hope you appreciate this. Um, by the way, please, by all means, subscribe. I've got a lot more videos already in the making or plan to be made for a lot more tips on vans, van life, and off-roading in vans, what that's like, and a lot of the off-road or suspension upgrades that I've done in my van. And uh, I'm going to keep going through more about my build and some of the, uh, to try to help you guys all out and give you some pointers and tips that should be helpful. So please subscribe and enjoy watching this video. And by all means, send me any questions you have in the comments. We'd be glad to help answer them or provide any insights I can. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.